Well, I bought the Wantai motor setup off eBay, and uh, before I put it on my um, working on a three axis CNC mill, I wanted to do a dry run and, and set it up to figure out how I'm going to do the wiring on the mill itself. But I um, ran into some issues trying to figure out the wiring for the breakout board, and uh, found out I guess this is some notoriously famous or infamous. Uh, breakout board because there's not a lot of documentation on it and a lot of people were saying they had issues with it so I wanted to just document the way I had wired it up and had everything working uh, with Mach 3 hopefully maybe I'll save someone a couple hours of research or something or maybe I just got lucky and, and didn't get a dud um, anyways this is the 5 volts in power to the board you need to have these two jumpers installed right here. Um, without the jumpers installed you'll need two 5 volt power supplies. Uh, <clears throat> this yellow wire is 5 volts from the board to the driver. Enable um, Enable turns the driver on or off. Uh, if there's no 5 volts to enable the driver will be inactive. Um, you leave enable negative off if you ground enable negative you'll set off the red failure light the direction pulse and all of the motor controls um, you set these pins up in Mach 3 so I have uh, let's see blue this is pulse positive is set as pin 2 and the direction positive is pin 3 and then you take the negative um, pulse and direction to ground on the breakout board. The motor wiring was not too hard. It's a six wire motor, so I wired it like this. You can focus on there. And I left yellow and white hanging off, not touching anything. Um, here's, a, I guess, a quickie of my dip switches as well. So Okay, so we'll need those settings, and I guess that's how I have power supply for that wired up. Now, what you want to do for testing is first make sure that your jog is enabled. Um, that's basically you just would use your arrow keys to move the axes, and you have to remember what you set your axis up to be. So, to set up your um, motors, first you need to make sure that. Uh, port 1 is enabled and the port address is 0378 motor outputs the x-axis which is the one since I'm only using one axis I just have one set up um, step pin 2 direct pin 3 if you'll look back in the video you'll see that's what I had step low active and they all need to be going through port 1 which is active um, one other thing is the emergency stop since again it's a dry run I don't have an emergency stop switch but you need to lie to Mach 3 and tell it you do otherwise it won't work so uh, emergency stop goes through port 1 on pin 10 and we're telling Mach 3 that it's active low when you have an actual switch it will be active um, it won't be active low so so pro probably won't be active low I guess it depends on your setup anyways so hit ok um, jogs on and all you do is you gotta hit reset it'll go away and then you can play with your stepper motor I'm not sure you can see it moving but you can take it from me it's working